Papers show that the five Muslims arrested were selling the Muslim publication Mohammed Speaks on Hunter Street. According to the police, the five brothers began beating several people who wouldn't buy the newspaper. The Muslims say that they were attacked first. In any case, they were brought to the city jail for booking. They were placed in a minimum security detention area, at which time one of the brothers yelled at an officer, you don't have to shout so loud. Following this, another brother jumped off the bench and began beating the officer. According to the police, during the melee, the Muslim brothers picked up tools that were being brought into the station in connection with another case. Then they began hitting all of the officers in the immediate area. The report continues that during the fight, five officers were injured, with patrolman E.G. Brown being the most critically injured. He received a cut in the neck by a hacksaw blade. Other officers received lacerations to the face and body. In an interview earlier this afternoon, Minister Hewlin Shaw, the minister of Atlanta's Mohammed Mosque, number 15, said that things didn't happen this way. How did the incident start last night? Uh, we were informed that uh, uh, they um, gave their brothers some instructions, began to push on them and choke some upstairs. And when this started, then the brothers defended themselves against the attack. There were reports that Stokely Carmichael was here last night. Do you know what his capacity was? Uh, he came down simply as an observer uh, out of interest of black people being attacked and illegally arrested. Is he a member of the Muslim group here in Atlanta? Uh, all black people are Muslims. Is he a card-carrying Muslim? <laughs> we don't carry cards. <laughs> a preliminary hearing is scheduled tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock in Recorder's Court. From the Atlanta Police Headquarters, this is Gene Grunecker, WSB Television News, reporting.